the eye is drawn to that one black body in the flamboyance. Hi, I'm Dean Atta and today I'll be reading from The Black Flamingo. Our second evening, we visit our great aunt for dinner. She points to Daisy first and I can work out from mum's hand gestures that mum is explaining Daisy is not her child, but Anna and I are. She doesn't speak any English, but she smiles and she feeds us black-eyed beans and greens. This food again is familiar, but her words are not. Our great aunt refers to Anna and me as Tamavra. Mum doesn't want to translate, but I insist. It means the black ones, but not in a bad way. I don't know why mum needed to say not in a bad way unless it was bad. Daisy isn't seen as black like Anna and me, Daisy looks down at her plate and she doesn't say anything. Mum hardly speaks any Greek to us at home. She has always said she wanted to fit in and be British. Here in Cyprus, Anna and I can't access family conversations without her translations. Mum, Anna and Daisy go shopping the next day, so I stay at the house with my grandparents. Sitting out on the porch with Grandad, I look over my revision for the first time since we got here. Lighting a cigarette, Grandad asks, Are you studying hard? Yes, Grandad. Looking down at my notes, which Daisy wrote for me, I add guiltily, Daisy usually helps me. She's your girlfriend? He asks with a big smile. No, she's my best friend. This is the same thing, asks Grandad. Almost. I smile. Grandad goes back inside. He draws my attention to the news. The story, a black flamingo has landed on the island. An expert on screen explaining it is the opposite of an albino. Too much melanin, he says. Camera pans the salt lake full of pink, but the eye is drawn to that one black body in the flamboyance. The following evening, my beach towel and shorts dry on the balcony. Couples on mopeds ride past the house. Dogs walk humans before dinner. Grandad coughs violently, then lights another cigarette. Grandma calls us in to eat. The black flamingo is on the news again. I pick the dining chair facing the TV. Grandad asks, why does it matter if he's black? Adding, the other flamingos don't care. And I am certain what he's saying is I love you. <laughs>